Tim Holbrook with Emory Law School joins us now. You were part of litigation surrounding marriage equality. First, talk about the significance of today's legislation. I think today's legislation is, is incredibly important. Marriage equality obviously was a seminal moment. It, it, it allowed people of all genders to get married, but today's legislation is about protecting everyone who identifies as LGBTQ. It's about housing, it's about employment, it's about public accommodations. It's basically about the everyday lived experience of LGBTQ people and making sure that they can operate in day-to-day -day living without encountering discrimination. Georgia Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene has been strongly criticized by transgender groups, by Democrats, even some within her own party after she hung that sign they say is transphobic. How much does the back and forth show the need for more education and more conversations? I think the need for education and conversation is crucial, uh, but emphasizing the need for informed and compassionate conversation. These are difficult topics, and for people who are not familiar with the LGBTQ community, it can be a confusing space, but these conversations need to happen with empathy. And the, the example of the sign that the representative put up is not an empathetic one, uh, and she was implicitly attacking the child of another member of Congress. And I think there is where you really do cross a line when you start to engage with someone else's child and their, the experience that they're having. And so much today is about getting attention or stirring the base. Do you see something like this and wish people would just ignore it? Or is there more value in that bigger conversation so it is something we need to look at and talk about? There's part of me that wishes we would ignore it uh, because it does generate the attention that people crave. Uh, but the reality is this is a challenging issue and it's an issue of the day. Uh, and if we draw attention to it, it does allow the conversations to happen. It allows the exploration of these issues to take place. And it also then elevates the attention focused on the Equality Act and the needs that the LGBTQ community has for these non-discrimination protections at the, the federal level. Uh, at this point, uh, for the most part, there's a lot of patchwork of protections across states and across even within the states uh, where you have different cities giving different protections. And so the Equality Act is really important to level the playing field and make those protections uniform across the entire United States. The representative from Illinois, whose daughter is transgender, said this is something that should have happened many, many, many years ago. From your perspective, are we moving forward? Have we lost ground? Are we taking ground? Where are we on this issue? Perhaps I'm a hopeless optimistic, but I really do think we're gaining ground. Uh, I think the last few years have been a process of holding ground, uh, maybe a little bit of re regression, particularly with respect to transgender rights. Uh, but I do feel like we are moving forward. Uh, the fact that these conversations are happening, the fact that uh, Representative uh, Green's sign was reacted to uh, and viewed negatively, I think is a huge sign of progress, actually. When you've got uh, other Republicans calling her out for that behavior, uh, I think 20 years ago, that would not have been the response that we saw. And so I do see, uh, the acceptance of the transgender community, embrace of the transgender community, and their rights to be protected under the law uh, advancing. And so I, I'm optimistic that we have not lost ground. In fact, we are still gaining ground. Anything else stand out to you that we should make sure that we examine as we look at, at what's unfolding through this situation? Sure. I think it's important to note that there was already a significant step forward taken last summer when the Supreme Court decided the Bostock case from right out from right here in Georgia uh, that defined non-discrimination protections in employment as including protections against discrimination on the basis of sexual orientation and gender identity. So a, a relatively conservative Supreme Court has already taken this step and has seen the importance of these issues. The Equality Act expands and clarifies that holding in a lot of ways, so it still remains a really important piece of legislation. Uh, but it is important to note that the Supreme Court has already taken a step down this pathway by treating discrimination on the basis of sex as including sexual orientation and gender identity. Tim Holbrook with Emory Law School, we really appreciate the time. Thank you. Thank you so much.